Callbacks are sections of a script that is being called. One of the callbacks, on async complete, is completed when you load or save arrays, MIDI files, or IR samples. In today's video tutorial, I'll show you how to use a custom MIDI file with your instrument. And never miss the tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. Some other useful information about callbacks is that they all start with on and then the callback name and they end with end on. Callbacks can also be stopped using the stop command or the exit command. Each callback has a unique ID number which can be retrieved with NI callback ID and you can query which callback triggered a function with NI callback type and of course the corresponding built-in constants. So let's talk about on async complete. So this is an asynchronous callback that is triggered after the execution of the load array, save array, load MIDI file, save MIDI file, and load IR sample commands. What this means is that on async complete is not waiting for those commands to be finished. When those commands are finished, they return a unique value. This value can be used with NI async ID and NI async exit status to check whether the command was finished and whether the command was successful or not. So today we'll write some script that will load a MIDI file and display a message as to whether it was successful or not. So we'll make use of load MIDI file and on async complete to do this. Okay, so of course we start with on init. Um, for this one, we don't need a perf view, so I'm going to skip um, make perf view. Um, I will set my script title though. I'm going to clear the messages. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare um, a variable to hold my ID of my MIDI file once it's loaded. I'm also going to declare a button that I can press to actually load the MIDI file. So that's all I need for my init callback. Okay, so ne next is a UI control. So this is actually the button. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the ID equal to the ID of the file when it's loaded. So this is the ID and I'm going to set it to the ID of the file that's loaded. So when this file is loaded, this ID, this this variable will hold the ID. And I have a, a um, MIDI file on my desktop. So the path here, you have to put the full path I'm on I'm on a Mac so it's root users. And I do know if you don't specify the pull, full path in the contact will attempt to look in your user directory. So keep that in mind. I'm going to come over here and copy the file name. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the, um, the script to wait. And I want it to wait while the, um, while the file is loading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it I want you to wait 
until the ID of the MIDI file is not zero, or I'm sorry, not negative one. And when it's not, it's going to wait. And when it is, it will stop waiting. And that's the end of the UI control callback. Now for on async complete. I'm going to check if the async ID is equal to the ID of the MIDI file that I loaded. So if it is, I'm going to set the ID of the loaded MIDI file to negative one. I'm also going to check to see if NI async status, or I'm sorry, exit status is equal to zero. So if it's equal to zero, what this means is that there was an error, that async, NI async status returned an error. So if that's the case, I'm going to type, I'm going to tell the message to display an error. Else, I want the message to display to end the if and the other if and I need to fix my indents and I'm going to end my callback okay so let's uh, just peruse through this so you can kind of understand what's going on so up here I'm just going to take you back just a little bit up here my UI control is the button I'm setting the ID to the ID of the file that's loaded so remember when this file when this command is called against a file this will return an ID and then I'm checking that ID to see uh, if it's negative negative one or not negative one here. That's what I'm doing here. And when it's not negative one, I'm going to wait. And I'm sorry, this command is going to wait one. Okay. So what's actually happening is is when you go to load this file, um, this 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 ID, this load file ID, doesn't equal anything, or it equals negative one. And then on AC complete, what I'm doing is I'm checking to see if the ID, this is an internal value, um, if it matches the ID of the file of the file that I just loaded. And if it does, I'm going to set the file ID to negative one. Now remember, um, when it's not negative one, it's going to keep waiting. So what this means is when this file is done loading on async complete is going to be fired it's going to check to see if um, this it's going to check to see what the command was so the command was load MIDI file and remember the ID came from load MIDI file so if the command matches it's going to continue to do this because remember other things can call on async complete such as load array or load IR sample so if those things fired off too that's why I have to check to see which one it is okay so this one 
is I'm just matching on the ID of the file, um, the unique ID that was returned from load load MIDI file. So once that's complete, so the file loads, then what happens is NI async exit status is checked. So if this is zero, so what happens is when you call load MIDI file, um, it returns back whether it's zero or one. So when it's zero, that means uh, there was a problem and the most logical error is that it couldn't find the file or for some odd reason it couldn't load it. Maybe it wasn't, wasn't a proper MIDI file. Um, and if it equals one, that means the MIDI file loaded successfully. Okay, so that's what all of this means. I'm going to hit apply and hopefully there's no typos in here. Okay, so there is one. Um, another typo here. Um, message failure. What did I do wrong here? Message. Oh, missing the parentheses. It always is helpful to check your code. Oops, <laughs> more typos. Apologize about that. All right, so as you can see, the script is, is fine, no, no problems. And just check the message section here. So I'm going to press load button and the MIDI file loaded successfully. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the file name here so you can see what happens when it can't find the, 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 uh, the MIDI file. So I'm going to press the button to load it. And voila, fatal error, MIDI file not found. I'm going to change the file name back. MIDI file loaded successfully. So there you have it. So today's scripting lesson made use of some new commands that we haven't talked about yet, including on async complete and load MIDI file. We also looked at some new control statements and operators. Load MIDI file is an important command that we'll use in the future when we talk about um, playing MIDI files. So this is some really cool stuff. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.